How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I am two games away from World Series and unlocking the Signature Series Babe Ruth. I'm currently at 875 rating and of course we are going up against a 99 overall Garrett Cole and a lot of finest players. He's got Cattell Marte, Christian Yelich, he has Chipper Jones. He's got a couple Signature Series guys in there, Griffey in there as well. A really good team, 99s, 98s, and uh, 99s. So, well, uh, we'll go ahead and hop into this one. The main thing in this game is to go ahead and get an early lead. That would be ideal, as well as uh, try, and, try not to use too many guys in the bullpen because we need to win this game. Yes, it's a must win, but we also need to save our bullpen for the future game if we are able to pull this one out. So luckily, I don't really know what happened in that first inning there, but uh, Ted Williams, line drive to second base. His creative player misses it. And uh, we take a two-run lead. Actually, that might have been Ketel Marte at second base or Lindor. I'm not quite sure. But we take a two-run lead. That's going to be a no-doubter from Lou Gehrig. He could have been easily out of that inning. I'm not really sure what happened with Ted Williams' hit. But at the same time, that's a line drive. Could have easily been a base hit. It's kind of a 50-50. And it resulted in our favor. So we do get the early lead. It's in the third inning. I'm going to try and include as much action as possible in this one. I hung that change up over the middle of the plate. That was a floater, and uh, Lindor deposits it over the right field wall. So that's going to be, uh, we're in Laughing Mountain in this one, 420 to center field. That was absolutely crushed, deepest part of the ballpark, right center field. And uh, looking to just try and minimize. Got the pitcher out in that situation. He does have Cattell Marte leading off. And uh, just trying to minimize the third inning, two outs already. He is able to hit the ball pretty well so far throughout this game. He has lined out quite a bit. Uh, very similar to a couple of previous games I've been playing where got an early lead. Uh, the opponents kind of chip away. They tie the game up. They're definitely hitting well. I've been giving up uh, a lot of meatballs that have been crushed. Uh, I haven't really missed my spot too often throughout this run for World Series or throughout this uh, push and championship series, I will say. I did lose one game, had one setback, loss. I could have easily won that game if I just hit a little bit better. Uh, not really sure, but it is what it is so far. I've been able to win a lot of these games. I've been able to get an early lead. I've kind of been shut down throughout the middle portion of the game. For the most part, I've kind of used the same pitchers in the last few games. I've used Zach Granke quite a few times. I've used Bob Feller. I've also used uh, Jack Flaherty, Tom Seaver, really, really everyone. But for the most part, I've had... Uh, Bob Feller and Granke on the mound uh, the most often. But here I hit a no-doubter with the creative player, Pablo Sanchez. Recently, he switched his swing up to Chipper Jones. Swing just because I've been really crushing the ball with that Chipper Jones. He does have a natural switch hitting swing as well. I think that helps with the animations with your creative player. So I always recommend a natural switch hitter for that. Sometimes if you would use like a, a Griffey Jr. swing from the left side, then it doesn't quite translate to the right side as well. But some people don't have a problem with it. It's really just personal preference. Here later on in the game, I did take the lead 3-2 to two with that home run. The opponent gets a late... Late base hit up the middle. That was a uh, fastball inside. Hit like 70 miles an hour. That bloops in for a single. Willie Mays missed it. He gets a double on that and comes around to score. So not really the best way to tie the game up, but he got the job done. He got the hit with runners in scoring position, and uh, the late base hit went against me. But in this situation, I felt like he had that base stolen. He does go back to first. Maybe he thought he was going to be out. I thought he had that thing stolen all the way. Following inning, we have one down here with Willie Mays, 0-2 count. He throws a fastball low in the zone. I hit it pretty well. I kind of jammed the PCI as far down as he possibly can and uh, hit it up the middle. It gets by the center fielder. We're playing at Laughing Mountain Field once again with those large gaps. So that is indeed a triple. That's going to be huge because I'm going to be able to score this run. He gets to third base. If we were playing at ship it, no way he advances to third on that. That's only a double, maybe even a single. But uh, because it got by him, it allowed me to score this run with Lou Gehrig. I also hit a double down the line. Got kind of lucky with that last hit as it was. It stayed fair. But uh, I was waiting for that fastball in the outer half. He had been throwing the fastball up and away. Finally able to square it up and send it out for some insurance runs. A no-doubter from Chipper Jones. So now what I'm looking to do is basically try and get as many outs possible from this Bob Feller. I want to try and minimize how many guys I'm going to go to with my bullpen. I do have a three-run lead. He still has his starter in the game. I'm looking to try and get him out of the game as well as uh, trying to expand my lead a little bit, trying to allow him to go to his bullpen, have to make some adjustments on his batting lineup in terms of pinch hitters and everything. Uh, right here, I had a pretty good situation to take the lead or increase my lead. I had an opportunity 
with a guy on first base there, kind of a, an error situation. It counted as a hit. Ted Williams flies out, but Chipper Jones picks us up a little bit later with a no-doubter fastball inside. Facing this postseason, Blake Snell, and uh, really was able to get the ball rolling here in towards the later on in this game. Eighth inning, hit a couple home runs against this Blake Snell, increasing the lead to nine to three. Now we're in the top of the ninth inning. Not too much action from the opponent in the on the offensive side. I was able to keep him off balance with Bob Feller. I did go to my bullpen at this time. I believe I was using uh, Andrew Miller in this game, trying not to use him in the next game if we are able to clutch this one out, simply because I want to try and use. Uh, my go-to guys, go-to players like Billy Wagner, uh, Bruce Suter, Raleigh Fingers, guys like that. I want to save those dudes for the, the World Series game just in case it's a little bit closer than this one. Now, if I didn't have a lead like this, I wouldn't be able to make those decisions. I would have to kind of just go with the flow and, and try to play the matchups, try and win at all costs type of thing, and that's kind of where I'm at. I was able to score 10 runs in this game so far and uh, tack on another two here with Lou Gehrig, a no-doubter. I was able to get a couple good pitches. I thought that he might take out Trevor Hoffman in that situation, but that allows us to try and leave in Andrew Miller for the remaining out of this game. We have a fly ball here to left field. Ted Williams is going to crash into the wall and make the play there to end it. So we move up to 896. We gained about 21 points from that last one, moved up from 875 to 896. Now we have the Bobs, the Battle of the Bobs for the World Series. We do have Bob Feller on the mound once again, and I, honestly, this would be the guy I would want. I would want him, Kershaw, really uh, any of the starters that I have in my rotation. I really like the rotation that I have right now, but Bob Feller would probably be my go-to guy for a World Series game. It's someone that I haven't really lost with online. It's someone that I've pitched pretty well with. He can be tough to control at times, but it uh, just seems like his pitch repertoire, his per nines kind of take over. Once again, we get the early lead in the first inning with a no doubter from Ted Williams. I was swinging 3-0, and that's what you want to do. If you're going to swing 3-0, you want to make a count, and if you're going to hit the ball, you want to hit it over the fence because anytime you swing 3-0 and you get out, it's really unfortunate because you kind of waste that opportunity. But I expect this guy to be able to hit the baseball. We are playing at a major league field, so we might not see as many home runs because I, I feel like the ball doesn't necessarily fly as good uh, in the video game at a major league field. I feel like it flies a lot more uh, with the minor league stadiums. It uh, also has something to do with elevation. Uh, just in general, with this field, field especially, uh, St. Louis Cardinals, I haven't really had that many high scoring games playing at this field. Anyway, uh, we're tr looking to try and expand the lead a little bit. We only have one run lead and it's in the second inning already. Uh, we are, haven't really seen that many pitches from Bob Gibson. He's been pitching pretty well with this card but at the same time he has thrown a fastball over the plate he's thrown it up in the zone I barely missed it I kind of flared out to left field a couple times in that last inning and uh, I noticed that he's really early on the changeup so I'm trying to pick up as many things as possible early on in this game because I've already got the feeling that it's going to be a pitcher's duel because I'm not able to uh, consistently square the ball up early in this game so far only that one home run I waited on the changeup but other than that I've been hitting the ball pretty much right to him. Here's a base hit up the middle from Honus Wagner. That is going to be important because we kind of turn the lineup over. We get the leadoff guy on with a chance for a two-out rally on a guy who hit the home run for us in his first at-bat. But I got a terrible check swing there. I really shouldn't have even been trying to offer at that. I was trying to swing at if it was a fastball inside and get a check swing on any other pitch. But just didn't work out in my favor. There we fly out with Chipper Jones to end the inning. And uh, at this point in the game, the opponent doesn't have any hits. We're at 33 pitches in the fourth with two down, and he does go the other way with that 12-6 curveball. Smacks it into the gap for an extra base hit. That's going to be his first hit of the ball game. He's starting to hit the off-speed pitch lower in the zone. I was kind of just spamming the changeup low and the, the curveball low, trying to get him to chase it because really anything else I threw, he was hitting it pretty hard, and I didn't really have the lead in order to be aggressive with my pitches. But anyway, I was able to kind of get a very similar hit that he had a change up low in the zone. Good, good, and ripped it into the gap for a double. That's going to allow uh, Roberto Alomar to step up to the plate, knock in a base hit. And these guys at the bottom of my lineup have really stepped up. Roberto Alomar hit a clutch home run for me a couple games ago. Uh, Pablo Sanchez has really picked it up in the catcher spot at the bottom of my lineup. Here, his catcher, Pudge Rodriguez, smacks one down the third baseline. I had early feedback in that situation, and I also had to take out uh, 
Bob Feller early in this game. I mean, way earlier than I would have liked to. Uh, he came up to the plate in a crucial situation. I tried to get a pinch hit, uh, base hit, get something going in my favor, and uh, wasn't the case. So I had to go to the bullpen. Would have liked to get a few more innings out of Bob Feller because it seemed like he was going to be able to hit anyone else that I brought in. But this was kind of a crazy play. His runner is stealing second, uh, Willie Mays, and I knew he was going to go. I went with the slide step fastball above the zone, and Honus Wagner kind of ran through him on that last one, but we still were able to get the out. A really big out this late in the game, only with the few run lead. You don't want to give him any extra bases, especially a stolen base like that. It, the clutch attribute will come into play. Just many things can happen. Uh, basically, what I just said is what happened here. I got this one off the end of the bat, but after I stole second with Honus Wagner, we do have that clutch attribute in effect. Uh, there's a guy in scoring position. Lou Gehrig goes the other way with it. Good, good. I didn't really get the highest exit velo on that one, but uh, I was definitely early on this curveball facing uh, Troy Percival here. He does have that slow curveball. I'm waiting for a fastball or a slider. I know that uh, that's his go-to pitch. The curveball is probably his slowest pitch. He does throw the slider there, and I missed it. I did miss it, but Chipper Jones steps up, and this card is honestly my MVP of this run if I'm able to close this game out and make World Series for the Bay Brute. That card clutched up for me. It hit multiple home runs in multiple games in a row and uh, really stepped up, along with the creative player, along with Griffey and a couple other guys, Ted Williams. A few guys were kept off the board. The opponent did quit in the eighth inning there, so I had my bullpen set up exactly where I wanted it. However, I didn't really need to use that many guys. At the same time, though, the guys I had remaining were pretty tired from those previous games, so it's a good thing that I didn't have to use them. But uh, basically, we're going to end this video with Babe Ruth. In the, on the team, we're going to go ahead and select him right here. We make World Series for the seventh or eighth time. The only season I didn't make it was the season for Craig Kimbrell. I just didn't play enough games. I ended in the championship series and just didn't finish off the World Series run in that one. But we get Babe Ruth, put him in right field, and that's going to do it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe if you are new. I'm College Lefty, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.